hear people say that being consistent is the difference between success and failure. Others also say that consistency is the most vital ways to grow your brand and to build your dreams. Every success story we hear these days seems to have consistency as the main ingredient. We hear consistency everywhere the question is asked, but what exactly is consistency? What is the essence of being consistent? How do you stay consistent as a young creative entrepreneur who has um, a dream to achieve or who has uh, a vision to be an achiever? In today's episode, we are going to find out exactly what it means to be consistent and learn a few tricks of how to stay consistent and personally how I uh, manage consistency. Um, And so let's get right into the video. Let's roll the intro. Hello guys, you're welcome back to Brand On Demand. This is a platform where young creative entrepreneurs like you grow and scale your brands online and impact your businesses by doing exactly what you love. On this episode, we are going to find out what staying consistent or being consistent actually means. If you're new here, nice meeting you. My name is Mike. I'm a brand identity designer, a video content strategist and the host of the Pyramid Creative Podcast. What does that mean? Plenty things. Me self <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we're going to find out what exactly being consistent means in this video. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed or if you're new here, kindly subscribe and then click on that bell icon to be notified anytime there's a life changing video like this one uploaded. If you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get right into the video. But before that, drum roll, please. <laughs> Every young person's dream is to become successful and sometimes we are so much buried in the thoughts of being successful, so much so that we forget the point. We forget the point to the fact that great success comes great sacrifice. So a few challenges come our way, we get confused, give up, drop the ball and miss the wagon. Personally, I've read so many success stories and one thing that seems to connect all these successful people is willpower and consistency. A wise man once said that we become what we want to be by consistently being what we want to be every single day. So my question is, what is the essence of being consistent? Being consistent does not mean that you have to be systematic for a day, a week or even a month. Consistency takes years and years to get you where you want to go. For some people, consistency comes to them naturally and for others, it takes a few sleepless nights. What makes consistency easy or difficult? I'll leave you to think about it for a minute. While you're at it, let's dive right into how to actually stay consistent or pretty much how I stay consistent. And I always say this, that if I can do it, then you can do it. First of all, always remember why you started. And this comes down to passion. If you don't have passion for something, it will be very difficult for you to stay consistent. If it doesn't keep you wide awake at night, then you are not passionate about it. And so my advice to you is before you start anything, know why you started. Measure your passion levels because if you know why you started, you will keep going and you will stop at nothing to achieve that goal. Understand your journey. Define and decide exactly what is important in your life. Once you come to terms with your destiny, you'll be able to manage failures and keep going. Because if you are not sure or if you are confused about the path you're on, it will be very difficult for you to sacrifice some sleep or even contribute effort to actually get things done. To stay consistent, you have to plan your actions every step of the way. Make sure you have a schedule to keep you on track. I keep a schedule to stay organized and I keep a schedule for creating content as well. And because I have a schedule, it must happen at all costs. Even when there's an earthquake, I keep a schedule to get things done. Ignore your feelings. Staying consistent is a battle. It's a battle because sometimes you are not in the mood to learn or you are not in the mood to write a book or you are not in the mood to record content for YouTube but you have to put your vision first. It's a Friday night and the guys are going out Um, but you also have to record a podcast and you have scheduled that on your schedule. What would you do? No, tell me, what would you do? Would you rather go out with the guys, hang out with the guys, or invest in your future? 
because there, there are so many times you can hang out you know once you blow charlie you go feel hang out anytime you they like but right now make sure i'm not saying don't have fun have all the fun in the world have all the fun you can have but once you schedule something nothing should step in your way not even an earthquake <laughs> once you schedule something right make sure that you stop at nothing to get it done a lot of people are facing this problem a lot of long, young people are facing this problem uh personally i face this the problem because uh charlie let's have fun we're young but there's also that part of me that says charlie you're too young to waste your opportunities you're too young um to to actually sleep you're too young um not to be focusing on your dreams you're too young to say you're tired you know so th- these are the kind of inner battles that we are fighting about actually how to pursue our dreams and also enjoy life to the fullest uh some people you know actually you know argue that uh life is worth living when you know you're actually living it but what is life when you are not living your dreams sometimes you have to decide what kind of contributions you want to make towards your vision and i'm sure you guys remember the decision matrix right on how to make uh, a disparity between what is urgent and what is important right okay guys so we are back um at the notepad i'm going to actually take you through um the decision matrix i feel that i just want to refresh your memory on exactly what it is so the decision uh, matrix right is a two by two uh, diagram okay that actually uh, gives you uh, a disparity between um decisions that are urgent okay and decisions that are important right so let's uh, go to the diagram and so that i can show you exactly what i mean by that so let's flip a fl- uh, fresh page and then so it's a two by two diagram right so uh what you have to do is you draw a box like this anytime you're going through a dilemma you don't know um how to actually approach decision making um this has really been a very useful tool to me personally so i feel like sharing with you guys and i'm sure it will be very useful to you guys as well so this is a two by two diagram right Uh, and then you put all your urgent decisions here and then you say here is important right and then here is not important and then here is not urgent okay so anytime you have a decision that is important and urgent you go right away to do it okay execute don't waste time because it is very important and you don't have any time on your hands to wait to waste just go ahead to pursue or to make that decision anytime you have a decision secondly that is important but not urgent what you have to do is you have to plan okay you have to plan for it you have to plan for it okay um if you have a decision that is not important that is very important sorry but not urgent you have to plan towards it okay it's important but you know time is not due yet so you plan towards it and then if you have a decision that is urgent and not important what you have to do is to delegate it because it's not important to you at the moment but it's urgent well let's do it so you delegate you can find somebody or you you can pay somebody to get it done on your behalf which is equally acceptable and next is when you have a decision that is not important and at the same time not urgent what you have to do is to run (laughs) what you have to do is to eliminate that decision right eliminate it don't even think of you know pursuing a decision like that eliminate it uh, anytime you have a decision that is not urgent and uh, not important make sure you eliminate it so this is a decision matrix uh, i'm sure you guys um, you can check more on that on the internet and then i'm sure you can find more information it has really been a vital to you know for decision making in my personal life so yeah do well to check it out and then let's get back into the studio
The journey to entrepreneurship isn't going to be that easy. There are days where you don't feel like working or even to pursue your dreams. It is too difficult. This is not what you signed up for and you feel like giving up. You know what? There's a Japanese saying that says, fall down seven times but get up eight. The only way to be consistent is to actually get back up and keep moving forward. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, suggestions or advice for me, uh, make sure you drop them down in the description. And once you're down there, uh, make sure you click on that bell icon and then also subscribe if you haven't um, to be notified anytime there's a life changing video like this one. So guys, please, 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 please subscribe and then I'll catch you on the next video. But before that, let's dive right into a comment section on our previous video that was uh, last week and then let's find out um, who commented and then let's appreciate them real quick before we go mm. cheers to you guys so um, big shouts going out to uh, creative Nita Berra creative nita Berra says i'm also a service personnel i learned a lot uh, still learning uh, great quality content uh, thank you so much creative nita Berra, for that wonderful comment uh, this is coming from advertising and advertising says i'm so happy to see people like yourself taking branding initiatives in places where people would most likely tell you that it doesn't work there great advice keep it up Thank you so much uh, advertising and you guys can check out advertising's page on youtube um, to see such content on his page as well a big shout out coming to um eric darkon and eric darkon says um <clears throat> sorry guys excuse me eric daku says first to view this i wish i got this two years ago but i'm still uh I wish I got this two years ago, but still great content, Mikey. More drum roll content, please. Of course, more drum roll content coming your way. And big shouts to you as well, Eric Dacon. Um, this one is coming from Amuzu Dixon. And Amuzu says, This is the content we need. Good job. Thank you so much, Amuzu, for that um, wonderful comment. I uh, really appreciate it. And then this one is coming from Ansan Ajoa Gladys. Uh, Gladys says Polish gun great insight uh, brand on demand very good content so big shouts going out to you Gladys thank you so much uh, for that content this one is coming from um, campus lit show and campus lit show says uh, we love this um, this Benedict also says good one there study by yourself says thank you and then Joel some big shouts going out to Joel some you guys can go check out Joel some page amazing amazing content on his page uh, big shouts to you Joel some uh, he's an amazing youtuber so he says amazing video thank you so much guys for watching and sticking to the end of this video and of course you can also drop your comments down below and then um, you know so that i can go through and mention them in my next video how cool is that all right guys so thank you so much for sticking to the end i'll catch you on the flip side and don't forget to stay safe and stay productive and most importantly stay safe i'll catch you on the flip side this has been brand on demand see you soon cheers